Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Peterson Homestead. Today, we are going outside to go and um, secure part of the fence that the chickens are in because they keep getting out on one side uh, because it's not tight enough. So I got, last night, my husband went inside a tractor supply store and got three of the stakes to put into the ground and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to figure out exactly the right way to put it in. Because I don't want them to try to get out from underneath as well. So, um, I'm, yeah, trying to do that and get everything done. So, and then we'll walk around and check and see how the um, the plants are doing that we just put down last week. I think I already have a couple growing, so we'll see. There she blows. Racing back and forth, trying to escape. But she cannot escape. <laughs> so this is their little home. They go in there, nest, they get underneath the bin and get out of the sun. And also that's another nesting box that the kids decided to put in there. And they've gone in there, sat in there, and laid an egg that my son just found this morning. Or not too long ago, so. And he weighs. Let's go on this side. Here. I, where was it that I just saw? I got some. My seeds are starting to sprout. So I'm pretty excited about it. Even though I don't think we'll be not eating these. But, you know, when you plant things in your garden, it's always great to see them sprouting. These ones are my wheats. What the heck? I believe. I forget what that's called. Which ones I laid down on this. I don't know. But these are these are doing great. Oops. Sorry. Yep. Is this grass that needs to get taken out? I don't want it's so hard. I'll just cut it. Cut down. Yeah. There. I just went out. That's her other sister is giving herself a dust bath. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> okay, so this side, I believe it's probably gonna take a little bit longer for the seeds to start growing, mainly because there's not a lot of sun on this side right now, because it is, you know, the, winter months air quotes around the, that winter months so I don't see anything coming up yet so I think this will probably take a long time what I might do is actually grab like a cover and put over it yep I still got mine I did flowers here. Maybe if I these look like these are the seeds, I just lay them out like that. Sprinkle, sprinkle.
Oh, whoa, whoa, that just ripped out of the ground. These flowers were so pretty too. Hopefully those were <coughs> Hopefully, hopefully these are seeds. So this list, these look just like marigolds. Marigold seeds look just like this. So I've never had these types of flowers before, so I don't really know. Um, but maybe, maybe, maybe. See, they're still really pretty, even though they're dying. It's still growing. It's still growing. And I didn't I thought I did a very good job of breaking these breaking the ground up in here, but I guess I didn't because there's still grass. So that's this is also a marigold. And this is has survived the winter and the chickens. And There's nothing. Okay. This, I, I don't know what we're doing here. But look at this. This is not, kind of does not look like my sunflowers. I've never seen sunflowers like this with this many um, leaves. Like this, for sure. But this one is Probably not. Sunflower. Yeah. I don't know. I did have the chickens in here and I'm just washing everything up and I think I might be able to um I'm gonna come out here and turn everything. Grab my shovel and just mix everything in and see how that how that works. But look, look at all the grass that's back here now. Still splotchy in some spots, but it's growing. We did cut it, so. And I have leaves <laughs> here, and I watch uh, out. I still have the water. I'm okay with that. No, don't wet me. Don't wet me, Axel, please. Compost bin. No, Axel, I'm serious. Don't wet me. I had to move it from over there because it was staining the ground, as you, you can see. So phone. now I wet it. I tried to keep it wet, and then I turned it and all of the, the water and everything was spilling out. So as you can see, it's there on the ground now. So that's gonna be, let's watch as soon as I move that bucket. But how much you wanna bet that that's gonna be like really healthy soil right there. But all right. I no longer have sunflowers there. Chickens try to eat a thorn. Right? A what? A thorn? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's a hot day today. I'm sweating, and I decided to, you know, why I install these. There, I need a friend to come home so he can bang it into the ground deeper and make it more sturdy. Um, and I will probably have to tighten up that side but for now this is good because this is the side that they get out of so what I decided to do was give them some shade and uh, a little bit of privacy 
couple Christmas trees on the opposite side where the sun is shining down on. And now they just, well, one of them is in there. The others, hmm. So, what I really need to do in a couple of days is grab at least like two more bags of the wood chips and lay it down in here so that it's it's thick enough for them to keep scratching everything into the ground and and stuff so can't get out that way I had to put it in the middle because if I had it the other way they would probably find a way to get out <laughs> so cute little sound she was making. No, not that sound. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to make this a lot better for them. Probably get a bigger shelter since there's no shade. And then I can also start getting the, the back areas and kind of like around it. Put some sunflowers against it so when they grow they have shade um but yeah i think i'm gonna go inside and figure out how to make this work for them so that they're not so hot and and everything like that and just in case like say it rains again they have shelter if it rains and i'm not home Just push it out already. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for now. These are the two ones that are, have been laying eggs. Lucy and Noir. Um, Tiny is over there. Dust breathing. She's been over there for a while. Just enjoying it. I'm going to get some zip ties and put like different colors on the back of them or like a spot of it so and put it around the chicken's legs so we know who's who um, and we know exactly which egg comes from where um, because sometimes it's a little difficult Alright, that is it for now. I'm going to go inside, um, go drink some water, relax. I'll have to come out here and check on my chickens a little bit because I guess today is supposed to be really hot, which is probably why they're so whiny, whatever, but that's my little makeshift um, shade for them. But until I get something better that's just gonna have to do for now so I'm going to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching the Peterson homestead bye <laughs>